Hi, my name is Methat El Masri. Today I'm going to show you how you can go about customizing the Android app bar. Here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to customize this app bar over here with these toolbars. Let's get started. I'll start by creating a new Android Studio application. So I'll click on start a new Android Studio project. I'll choose the MT activity. I'll call my application App Bar Mania. And let's choose API 26 over here. Finish. The main activity extends App Compat activity. This is the kind of activity that we need in order to do the things that we're about to do. Let's check on the resource styles.xml file over here. And you will notice that the app theme is based on dark action bar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disable that. We're going to put in no action bar. Let's run this app and see what happens. You'll see that we've just got rid of our action bar. Let's restore this action bar by adding our own custom toolbar. We can do this by adding a toolbar to our user interface. So we can go into activity main.xml and right over here, I can add this toolbar. Now let me change the layout to linear layout. I'm going to come here and change this to linear and make the orientation vertical. Now let's run the app and see what happens. Now you can see that we have restored the app bar here, although there's nothing is written in there. Typically this markup, you would put it into an include XML file so that you can include it in every activity that you create. So let's do that. We're going to go to the layout directory and create a new file by the name of tool bar main.xml and in this file we're going to add a toolbar just like the toolbar that we had before but the difference here is that instead of putting this here we're just going to import the file that we created so we would get rid of this and insert this instead and this basically imports that toolbar that we added in a different XML file. So let's run this and we should experience the same results. And as you can see, we have the same result. The problem we have is the name of our app doesn't seem to appear in our app bar. So if we want that to happen, we must get an instance of our toolbar and set that as the support action bar. That is very easy to do. In the main activity, we can get a handle to the toolbar and set it as the support action bar with this code here. Let me resolve this. And we need to choose the Android X version. So now if I run, I should be able to see the title of my action bar and here it is, App Bar Mania. It's good practice to change the color scheme of your application so that you can make it your own. Let's do that. I'm going to go into the styles.xml file and you've got these two colors here, the color primary and the color primary dark. I'm going to change those slightly so that they have different color schemes. So I'm going to go to the colors file that these colors refer to. So if you go to the colors.xml file, these are the actual color primary and color primary dark. I'm going to change these colors to make them my own. I'll change the color primary to something that is somewhat brownish and the color primary dark is similar brownish as well but rather dark than the previous one. And let us run the app and see what we come up with. And here you go, you've got a different color scheme. What about if I create another activity? How do I get the app bar working for another activity? Let's do that. 
I'm going to come here and add a new activity and it's going to be an empty activity and let me call it the info request activity with this activity you can see the XML for that it doesn't seem to have any widgets let me change this to linear layout like I did before and make the orientation vertical and in here I'm going to add an import for the same toolbar that I had before which is this and just like I did with the main activity I'm going to take these two lines of code and add them in the info request activity that I just created so that I can set the title I want my new activity to have its own title the way to do that is to add into the strings.xml the title that you want the second activity to have and I'm just going to add a key info request with text request for information in order for this to become the title for that activity we can go into the manifest and for this particular activity we're going to choose that activity and set the label for that activity to be info request activity what I want to do is this I want to add an icon here which is like a plus sign and when you click on it it will launch the second activity which is that info request activity so I need an icon what I'll do is I will go into the resource folder and I'll open that in finder and inside of this resource directory I'm going to paste some icons here to provide me with that plus sign I will need to have a menu so I'm going to come here at the resource level and go new Android resource file and the type of resource file that I need is a menu resource file I'll call that menu underscore main let me click on OK and you will notice that it creates a folder under resources and it puts menu main.xml in there I've got the markup for that menu system so I'm going to replace what I already have you will see that it's adding a new menu item by this name and it's referring to this icon in the drawable folder the item category is number one and you have this property show as action and it sets it as if room now the options for these are as follows you can have if room which places the item in the app bar if there is space otherwise it will put it in the overflow area you can use the value with text which includes the text with the icon you can put never in there which means put the item always in the overflow area and never in the main app bar and you can say always which means always put it in the nav bar now you can see here that I'm missing something in the strings.xml file let me put that in there so I will open my strings.xml file and add this missing entry here now if I go back to my XML menu file it should be good in order for my menu to show up I need to override two methods one is the on create options menu method and the other one is the on options item selected method so let me add these to my main activity I'm here and down I'm going to implement this method on create options menu method which basically inflates the menu and the other method is where you handle the click event for the menu and this is the code for that let's resolve these packages you'll see here that this is the event handler based on the menu item that's clicked you're going to get the ID and if the ID is action request info if you go back to the menu 
we will see that the ID we gave is Action Request Info. So if that's selected, then we want to start the other activity that we created. Let's test this out and see what it does. You can see now that we have that plus. One other thing we can do is add a back arrow here so that when you click on it, it takes you back to the parent. To do that, we can go to the manifest and specify the parent of this activity. And you do that by saying the parent activity name for this second activity we created called info request activity is actually the main activity. We must next add this back arrow to our info request activity. This is done by coming here and getting a handle to the action bar and setting the display home as app enabled. Let's test this out now. See now, I can click on the plus arrow to go to the second activity. And now I have this toolbar here that can get me to return back to my parent activity. Let's go back and see what other options we have for that menu. If you remember, we set show as action here to if room. How about if we take it to with text? Let's run the application, see what happens. And when you do that, you get this tool here. And instead of showing the icon, it immediately goes into the overflow area. The overflow area is identified with these three dots. So now we can click on that text and it will behave just like before. Let's try something else. Let's say never here and run. When you say never, it always puts it also in the overflow area. And finally, if I say always and I run, it always keeps it here. Now there's a problem with that. The problem with that is that if we have many, many of these icons and there's not enough space for them, you don't allow the system to decide to put it into the overflow area or not. So the best scenario for this case is really to set the value of the show as action to be if room. And that would behave much better if there are too many of these icons. Next, what I would like to do is to add a share icon on my toolbar. So we're going to have some sort of an icon that looks like a share. And when you click on it, it allows you to share your data with another application. To do that, I'm going to add one more item to my strings.xml file over here. And this is just text share. And I will add a second item to my menu system. So going to my menu system, we have one item here and I'm going to add another item here. And the ID for that would be action share. The title would be this string that I put in the strings.xml, which is action share. In the main activity, I'm going to add an instance variable that represents the share action provider. And this is an Android X object. I will add also another helper method that's going to fire up the intent that will enable sharing of my data with another application in Android. When I call this method and pass it a string, it's going to ensure that an intent is created and you can choose what app to pass that data to and it will share that data with any other app of your choice in the operating system. The next thing that we need to do is handle the menu click event when the user chooses the share option. And that would be in the on create options menu, we're going to add this code here, which finds handle to this menu item and gets the appropriate share action provider for that menu item. And we can call our helper method 
the set share action intent and pass it the string and it should connect to the application of choice and pass it the text and the text we're going to pass just for testing purposes is join us on this vacation let's try it out so I'll go here click on run and see what happens now if I click on this share icon I can share the data with another application for demo purposes I'm going to choose copy to clipboard and let me open another application let's say the browser here Chrome and I'm going to say accept and continue no thanks and see if I can paste that data so I'm going to come here and paste and it pastes join us on this vacation so what we learned in this video is how to customize the app bar how to add to it some custom toolbars and connect to another activity with one of the icons and the other icon was a share icon and we learned how to pass some shareable data to another application thank you very much and i wish you the best of luck and hope to see you in a future video